I'm Ash from Ash Entertainment, and welcome to Resident Evil 2 for the N64. Um, I was going to get this and play it on the original hardware, the N64, but um, I can't justify um, spending like 100 quid on a cartridge. Uh, yes, um, sorry. <laughs> um, I can't. I can't justify spending a hundred quid on a cartridge. I mean, the developers did put a lot of work into this. I mean, they the stuck essentially um, two two PlayStation One discs onto a cartridge, and the cartridge has like less memory than the actual one of the discs. So yeah, they did a very good job. But anyway, I'll uh, jump straight into it. Uh, new game, normal because I'm not a bitch. Leon because I'm a man. Best not say that too many times. Uh, violence low, medium, high, high. Cause we ain't no bitch. Let's get straight into this with high violence and blood colour because fuck YouTube. Besides it don't help me, so it don't matter. I'm an unknown in the I'm an unknown in YouTube. So red blood won't make a difference to me. Resident Evil. I'll be quiet for a cutscenes. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T-Virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation in the affair. The case was apparently closed, thanks to the efforts of STARS members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far Got here. It's a dead body, Leon. What do you think it is? <laughs> Guy's a maniac. Why'd he bite me? Stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. There! Okay. What's going on? I arrived in town, and the whole place went Great. insane! The radio's out! You're a cop, right? Yeah. It's like, yeah, I wonder what gave guy. that away. Huh? Is it like the, nice where the badge on the sleeve? Where the massive Where's RPD you? thing on the front? Where the one on the back? 
I know I might be ripping into this game, but I absolutely, I absolutely, I absolutely do love this game. Hey, it's not my favourite Resident Evil, don't get me wrong, but it is sure. definitely up there. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. Ah! No! Angel Studios did do a very good job of this. Yeah, did a very good job of taking two discs okay? and sticking them onto the back of a um, onto onto no the back of a here. cartridge. <laughs> yeah, just a disc spin at back at cartridge. Maniac's gonna wear us. To be fair. I'll meet you there. Okay. Also, I'm blaming the uh, Sega Saturn controller because I can't find me um, my U oh shit, my USB, my uh, USB Xbox, uh, USB, uh, uh, my USB N64 controller. But can I speak, man? Yeah. Oh, that looks awesome. Yeah, so I'm playing a, uh, a PlayStation port on the N64 with a Sega Saturn controller. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, probably not the best setup I've ever had. But at least it beats keyboard and mouse. Freeze! Who are you? What are you doing here? Hold your fire! I'm a human. I've played the the newer version of this, and I have to admit, it is a fucking fantastic Sorry tribute to it. I said tribute because. Um, I thought you were Apparently, one of them. Apparently, the original PlayStation version is still classed What's as the going on in this town? And the second one's kind of like on. a, um, well, the remake is kind of. I don't have a clue. Not like a spin-off. By the but time a, I know if something scenario, was wrong, a real the entire city was infested with zombies. But does it still have the the glitch where you can get the um, the shotgun early? Because there's a glitch on PlayStation one. But you should be safe inside here. I'm keeping a close eye on things. God, if you only knew. Yeah, I guess I've changed it. Yeah, yeah I don't know if it were a glitch or just bad programming. But you could, um. Robert's note. Bollocks, I can't see because of my face. <laughs> oh, bah. I'm sorry about that, but. Oh crap, I do apologise, I'm going to read all these out in a very cool narrative voice. Because apparently I can speak a little bit better now. I don't st 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 stutter as much. Uh, did I pick up the sh... No, I didn't. Why not? Give me ammo. Can you take the bullets? Yes, bullet. Yeah, bad programming. She can... He can pick up his shotgun for when he dies before he dies. Ah, excellent. Should have kept a closer eye on things. Oh crap, I'm gonna run in and get it then. Ooh, wrong button. Stop breathing. I don't care. Give me a boomstick. Will you take the shotgun? Yes. Four shells. See you later, guys. Yeah, I love the remake, but I still... I don't know if it's because I've, I essentially grew up playing this. Let me just get a quick reload going. It's probably because I grew up playing this game. On my very small PlayStation. Uh, a knife. Oh. 
I, d I didn't think that would work. Let's get home. Kaboom! Um, oh, I'm pressing all buttons here and I'm, I'm not used, like I say, I'm not used to playing an N64 game with a satin pad. Uh, equipped, yes, yeah, so. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a casual, have a casual playthrough. Not, not speed run it like that bark a bark dude and I have to admit he's fucking excellent at, that, at this game, at that game, at that game here. Uh, let's see, now. so I'm gonna be playing a much, a, sl a slower, a slow play. That right, is down. Don't waste any ammo on these, even though I've just wasted like se 17 shots. Just get to get a shotgun shell, uh, to get a shotgun, to get a shotgun shell. So far, this 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 well, one is this part is actually really good. I mean, my A and B's are wrong way around. Internet's dead. <laughs> Stop it! Fucking internet taking me fucking taking me concentration. Also, um, if you've noticed, of um, every time it loads, the game, obviously the game freezes slightly, so it loads in the next thing. But and if you've noticed, it actually it does it for my webcam as well. So it's like I freeze as it's loading in the next scene. So, so that's actually really quite cool. Actually, like that. Un unintentional perk. <laughs> Sake, man. Take that. Oh, that's another thing that uh, happens in um, in this Resident Evil. If you aim and shoot, just shoot at the screen. It, uh, the, you see the bullet hole. That's uh, a thing that only happens on the N64 version, I believe. I'm past all you guys. Oh, bollocks, Brad. How do you get him? Is it like don't pick any weapons up or don't get hit? I fucked both, like, but. <laughs> I forget what it was. No items or no hit. Or oh, don't kill any enemies. I forget. Anyway, I'm not interested in secret costumes. I'm just, in I'm just here to entertain. That's one thing I've actually played through this game so many times that I never actually knew that Herb existed. So thank you chat on um, Bark Bark Soup, or whatever, I can't pronounce his name, it's too many barks and soups. But yeah, because he always plays the Japanese version because he's a, a top of the line speedrunner. And everybody always says, meh, you've forgotten the Herb. And it's like, yeah, it's only the uh, American and European versions. So yeah, I never actually knew that one was there. Yeah, this part is amazing. Just one thing wrong with it, I'd say, is, um, is probably the price. It's like I say, like a, nearly a hundred quid just for the cartridge is, a, is I think is a bit too extortionate for my liking. Oh crap, two ribbons. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm playing on normal or I'm just, I haven't played it in so long. But of course, one of them free ribbons. Unless it's different from Pal to America. <laughs> and also, people always say it's like there's a noticeable oh, difference man. in audio quality. I know they've had to compress it in, but. Who, who are you? But it's actually really quite good. Oh, I like it. I, you must I mean, be a new what, guy. Can't, I can't tell. Leon. Sorry, but. It looks like your party has been cancelled. Not my party. What happened? Where's my cake? About two months ago, there was this incident involving zombies in a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. 
Chris and the other STARS members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything. They risked their lives to reveal the truth, but no one believed them. Not long after that, all this started to happen. Uh, uh. Hang in there. Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here, take this key, key card. card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But... Just go. Just go. <laughs> to be fair, the voice acting Fine. might not be up to par to the but new I'm one. But i back for you. But Just this hold one, on. This does hold its own. It's like, I like the newer one, but there's certain aspects that I don't like of it. Especially the, um, the Leon and Ada thing. It's like that one, I didn't believe it. I know that you don't really see it much in here. Uh, it's like trying to unlock. Yep, I've already forgotten how to play this game. Uh, yeah, there were certain aspects of the new one that I don't like. Leon and Ada is a bit, mm, cliche. But Mr. X. They did him perfectly. Use the blue key card. Yes. <laughs> it's funny because obviously a problem for me is I always like talking to people and you know talking to the face. And so I'm always like over here. I'm like looking at myself because it's the only face I can recognise. If you know what I mean. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to save it now. I'm not bothered about me end goal. Let me end, um... My end score. I'm, I'm always here just for the ride and the story. Um, save the speed running for the pros. I'm just a casual. I'm just here to have fun, baby. What I'm going to... I'm still keep... I keep saying this, but I'm still going to have to move my, um... My webcam to the other side, so I'll somewhat keep, so I'll be there somewhat looking at you. Policeman door. Bollocks, I keep forgetting. Hang on, hang on a minute, I've got a button somewhere that... Haha. This letter is just to inform everybody about the recent movement of the equipment that has been... That has, has been... What the fuck happened during the precinct's rearrangement? The safe with the four-digit lock has been moved from the STARS office on the second floor to the eastern office on the first floor. Oh, okay, now that's, I'm glad I read this, uh, 4542, Raccoon Police Liaison Department. I'm actually, I'm actually happy about that because I'm always used to it being 2236. So yeah, yeah I'm actually glad I read that file, actually, Jesus Christ, that would have been a, an annoying 15 minutes of absolutely ash running around not knowing what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> no item, so, um... Uh, Right, so I've got that in there, bullets in here, Sh uh, shotgun just in case I get ambushed. I have a very specific play style. Oh, also, if you keep notice, I'm looking down there. It's because um, I'm going to try and do this in epi episodic things. So I'm going to try and keep it like our episodes. Don't worry, I'm not... I actually forgot about that. Every time I play this game, I always forget about that. But when I was playing the modern one, the reboot, remaster, or whatever you call it, re remake. That's cool. Uh, the remake. I actually were expecting it, and I were kind of gutted when it wasn't actually there, but spoiler alert, it's somewhere else, you know, it happens somewhere else. His head's been swiveled. Oh, his head is missing. It seems to have been twisted off. Alright, uh, what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm actually just gonna... Wait, do I use this? I think I use this... No, I don't actually. I don't think. Oh boy! Oh boy! What I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna keep him... Keep him alive. Because right now I'm not properly. I'm not 
I'm not essentially properly equipped to deal with this situation. I mean, I could blow his head off with a shotgun, but... You know, I actually never actually thought this were true. I just went, what you see in them magazines? Where it's like, you know, where it's fake, because there were a lot of fake stuff. You know, in magazines in them, they're just to get you to try it. But this was one of them. And it actually worked. I was actually really happy about that. Will you take the herb? Yes. Sorry, it took me about 15 minutes to to get out of this room. But I'd like to have at least a full clip of shotgun shell before I start taking on the harder enemies like that. Or at least have a first aid kit. Because when it comes to liquors, I know they're like mid-tier bosses, uh, not mid-tier bosses, um, mid-tier enemies, I'd still like to be prepared. <laughs> yeah. There's a bit of delay with this pad as well, so if, if anything happens bad, I'm going to be blaming the pad. <laughs> uh, another, another newsletter here. Operation Report. September 26, Raccoon Police Department was unexpectedly attacked by zombies. Many have been injured, even more were killed. During the attack, our communication equipment was destroyed and we no longer have contact with the outside. We have decided to carry out an operation with the intent of rescuing any possible survivors, as well as to prevent this disaster from spreading beyond Raccoon City. That would have been a mouthful. The details of the operation are as follows. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Security of armaments and ammunition. Chief Irons has voiced concern regarding the issue of terrorism due to a series of recent unresolved incidents on the very day before the zombies attack. He made all the decisions to relocate all weapons to s all relocate all weapons to scattered individuals throughout the building. Ah, I see. But it's hard when you got to wait to the next page to load uh, the next page. Individuals throughout the building, temporary measure to prevent a uh, possible seizure. Unfortunately, this decision has made it extremely difficult for us to like, locate all ammunition caches. It has become top priority to recover these scattered munitions. So I locked the weapon storage. As stated earlier, it will be extremely difficult to secure all the ammunition. However, a considerable supply still remains in the underground weapon storage. Unfortunately, the person in charge of the card key used to access the weapon storage is missing. <laughs> and we have been unable to locate the key. One of the breakers went down during the battle and the electronics locks are no longer functioning. I've added words to make it sound better. It has become top priority to restore the power room and secure the, those locks. David Ford. Oh, fucking hell, I can't be asked reading all this. Jesus Christ. Man, I don't, I don't expect it to be like two or three pages. I didn't expect a full ass report. Gling, 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 gling. Yeah, I'm still not good enough to be reading. Looks like an operation, man. I could have sworn there was some ammo in here. A pist pistol bullets. Yeah, they're moved. I could have sworn they were on the table outside. You know, let's, let's, let's set some priceless paintings on fire. Because reasons. <laughs> I actually like this version, it's very, to say it's been compressed, it's still pretty, pretty, pretty to look at. English. Ash can't say it. You know, it looks a lot cleaner than the PlayStation, if you, if you know what I mean. I know it's been compressed down, but even now I'm struggling to um, see a difference. Am I fully loaded? No. Combine. 
<laughs> also, another thing why I don't like this one as much as I do the others, I'm always seem to be flush with ammunition. Even when I first played through, I think I was roaming around with pretty much more than enough. Oh shit. Fall. Run. Oh, that was too close for comfort. Down, bitch. Down, you fucking tank. Jesus Christ. She took about 15 damn shots. Oh, actually, what far off? She took about 11. Get up, you bastard. And that's being nice. I'm an English American. Oh, I don't have auto in this. I actually like this part even more. Oh shit. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kill one down there and get to a better place to kill them all off. Ah, here we go. Oh, and he's dead. Hmm. I'm still used to playing the others where it's somewhat harder to get down. Get down, get down. Copy papers and, and office supplies. No, the herbs. The herbs, Leon. Know the difference. Also, I like the design of the, um, the old Leon police uniform to the newer one. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, the newer one is nice. Again, internet's dead. Nice one, Sky. Reliability, my ass. Reliability, my ass. <laughs> nice freeze frame. Well then, let's, let's buggy on down, right, so... Uh, Oops, my bad. Up here, up there, up here, up there, up here, up there. Key item down back here. Yeah, I always like to keep a clean box. Can't remember if they were all in here. Give me a red herb. <laughs> Alright, it's reading time again, lads. And lasses, sorry. I always, I always forget to mention the ladies. My lady. Operation Report 2. Let's pray to God it's shut off on me. Because I, apparently I can't fucking read. <laughs> September 28th, early morning, 2.30 a.m. Zombies overran the operation room. And another battle broke out. We lost four more people, including David. We're down to just four people, including myself. We failed to secure the weapons cache and hope for our survival. Continues to add diminish. That always fucking annoys me. It's going to shorten it until I put it on the other page. We won't last much longer. We agreed upon a plan to escape through the sewer. There's a path leading from the precinct underground to the sewage disposal plant. We should be able to access the sewers through there. The only drawback is that there is no guarantee that the sewage disposal plant is free of any possible dangers. We know the, chan uh, the chances in the sewers are slim, but anything is better than simply waiting here to die. In order to buy more time, we lock the only door leading to the underground, which is located in the eastern office. We left the key behind the western office since it's unlikely that any of those creatures have the intellect to find it and unlock the door. I pray that this operation report will be helpful to anyone who may find it. Elliot Edward. That name rings a bell. Elliot Edward. I wonder who that is. I forget. Oh, Elliot, that's the one that gets, um, spoiler alert. No. <laughs> spoiler alert, that's the one that gets, um, eaten. Do these open or do I, is it the one I need the key? It's locked. A special card in the key of car is required. Oh, well. Oh, I've already been here. <laughs> I'm gonna get some funny pictures out of this when uh, when I'm watching it back. Just watching my face in different in 
different motions frozen in time. Yeah, it's, gonna, it's just gonna be the highlight. The man with the funny face. Oh, she actually won. <laughs> hey, dear me. Oh, I keep forgetting wrong fucking button. Oh, and apparently there's actually ammo behind this um, this thing, which I never actually realised before either. I'll just get that once I've pushed this one into place. And I'll see if it's actually true. Yes, it's true. That's two items I've never actually known. But it won't there in the Japanese version, I believe. Oh, bollocks. Dililing. It won't there in the Japanese version because the Japanese version is ad. <laughs> to be fair, I want to play the Japanese version, but unfortunately I can't. I like playing it casually and taking in the story. I can't read Japanese. So unfortunately I need the subtitles to play. Come on, pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Red jewel. The crown jewels. Yeah, I'd like, I mean, I don't know if that's the only difference, but maybe, maybe. Oh, shit. see me oh I can see me <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a shotgun for these guys and make, make, make quick work of them come on bleed for me oh, oh yeah I don't know oh you're there also um, I like the tank controls because they actually serve the purpose of horror. Because if you can run around freely like you can in the newer ones, it kind of—I mean, look here now. I don't know what's ahead of me. I still don't know what's ahead of me, even though I've gone around the corner. But people tend to panic a lot when they get, you know, jump scared. Essentially, so having tank controls mean you won't be wiggling your mouse around. But yeah, I'm 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 all for tank controls in survival horror games. They just work. Also, I mentioned it, I think it's um Oh my teeth look nice and white today. <laughs> um you see that I'm I'm pointing, you can't see me I'm pointing, but down there I'm gonna zoom in. Zoom. There's like a little emblem there. It's the emblem from the first mansion according to um Blueprint, not blueprint. Wrong, wrong, wrong YouTuber. <laughs> it, it's uh, Incribbon, Sorry. Said it was. Um, it's the one from the mansion where you get one of the keys from the piano room, bar room, whatever you call it. So yeah, nice one. Maybe one day I can be a part of that group of um, Resident Evil fan people. Score SPN, Incribbon, They're the only two I know. But yeah, they make great content. Like me, hopefully. I think that's three people uh, in Resident Evil fandom I've plugged now. If plugged is the right word. If plugged is the right word, yeah, I'm, I'm still gonna, I'm gonna have to move it over there. That's fucking annoying me now. I mean, it's gonna be bad because I'm like, don't you know? <laughs> oh, come on, please be the one way. Jesus Christ. Ah, here we go. <sighs> Will you take the film? Yes. And uh, look over here as well because this was actually hidden in the re uh, remake as well. It's like in dark room. It's actually in the whatever the, the chemical to develop your pictures. I forget the name of the chemical. I went to college to do photography and I've forgotten the damn name. <laughs> Sounds about right, doesn't it? Ash forgets everything. It appears to be a replica of a gun. And I've just noticed something, there's even bullets missing here as well. 
thought they were flat, there was fucking dust or something. Uh, yeah, where's all the fucking ammunition? So, um, what's in here? Please be it's another shotgun. Will you take the shotgun? Yes. Right, so I've got two shells to waste. I'm actually quite nervous now because I can't remember things, if you know what I mean. I could have sworn there were um, more ammo in here. Unless it's just an N64 thing. Or it's just because Americans have less than even Europeans. Chris's diary. August 8th, I punched my first boulder today. <laughs> I talked to the chief today again. And he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella conducted T-virus research in that mansion. Anyone infected turned into a zombie. But the entire mansion went up in that explosion along with any incriminating evidence. Since Umbrella's employees saw many people in the town no one is willing to talk about the incident. It looks like I'm running uh, it looks like I'm running out of options. August seventeenth. We've been receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. August 24th. With the help of Jill and Barry, I finally obtained information vital to the case. Umbrella has begun research on the new G virus, a variation of the original T virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? We talked it over and have decided to fly to the main Umbrella HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. God, if he only knew. If he only knew. She's already here. And then she gets taken onto an island. Pretty much twice. <laughs> Leon! It's good to see you're still among the living. It looks like we're not going to find your brother here after all. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Let's split up, look for any survivors, and get out of here. Right. One last thing. Here's, Here's a radio. radio. Take it. Bang your head. <laughs> that way we can keep in touch if anything happens. Also, I've just noticed when it cuts off to go to make it cinematic, it can actually see through the black. You know, to see the model still. Um, I'm doing everything here, aren't I? Is the fax from Kendo here, or is that? And I think that's just Resident Evil 3. I was going to say I'm lost, I forget what to do, but I've just remembered I picked up that unicorn. Uh, ammo. Combine, combine. Yep, yep, yep. Let's run. No time to take in the sceneries, and I think that's. Th um. Bollocks, I forget. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. This cat forgets. Also, I'm not wearing the helmet because this is technically classed as a horror. On all horror games, I want to show my face in case something scary happens. And also, it's bloody hot in here. Gling, 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 gling. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually get rid of the liquor now. So I have something to heal myself with. First, put the other shotgun away, um, put you down here, uh, put the new shotgun here, I'm going to develop the film now, now, zoom, I can develop film here, oh shit Einstein, oh, uh, sorry, I'm used to modern one here, you can just spam click the button, recruit, what is that it? <laughs> oh well, at least we got it. I'm officially a pro Resident Evil YouTuber now. I found Rebecca's picture. Just like that other Resident Evil YouTuber found the um, 
the actual actor that played Rebecca. Actually, I wish I had more than two shots. <laughs> Fucking hell. Whew, that didn't half get me. I forgot all about that. I thought you had to be close to activate him. <laughs> Sorry, get a quick thumbnail in there. <laughs> I can't believe that got me. Yeah, I can't believe I got my oh god, I'm warm there. Whew. Oh, he's on the roof. Oh, oh shit. Ah. I didn't think he heard me. Well, anyway, that's the lick of dead. So now I have a pretty much a clear clear run into that side of the police station there. That's one thing I always like doing in Resident Evil games, always making sure they have one at least one clear path. No, one, one circuit. Diddly 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 diddly. I like that piano rift, it's great. Rift, riff. No T. Right, let's stick the unicorn in. Excellent. Will you take the precinct key? I sure will. Also, where the hell are the little keys? Because I want Matilda upgraded. Now, essentially. <laughs> Speaking of it, the best looking equipper. Uh, I'll put the FA spray in here because I seem to be doing well on not getting hit. And I believe there's um, a, H, a H spray. There's hairspray <laughs> in one of these rooms. Use the precinct key. Also, that's a dark way until I play I'll play Resident Evil 3 to say how much I'm disappointed with the newer one. Jill's report. Here we go. I can't be asked reading it. <laughs> I'll let you guys actually read it. Jill's report has been filed. I don't remember that file. I don't remember a lot of these things actually to take truth here. I'm getting quite concerned. I don't remember them though. I don't know why or how. Even though we're a long shot. Oops a daisy. I could have sworn there were a first aid spray in here somewhere. Down, please. Up, Danny, let's run along this wall. Tap my A button furiously. Visual material. Right, so, no, I'm wrong. I could have sworn there were even an ink ribbon in here. I'm forgetting a lot of things now, but then again, it could be just the N64 being different. Because, like I say, I've never actually... I mean, I've played it, but I've not really gone so far. I think the furthest I've ever gone on the N64 is when I borrowed it from Blockbusters. Well, down in the basement. That's where I pretty much where I got to... The furthest I remember going is, like, the breaker room. And that one, God knows how many years ago. Actually, I don't even think it was Blockbuster where I even uh, borrowed it from. I think it was bloody, not, not Grange, or um, Global. Oh, you guys won't know Global. Uh, oh, yeah, up here, I think. X 
because that one down there's diamond. I remember a little bit of this place. See, because I'm Ampro Resident Evil 1. I'm, I'm, only good, I'm only good at that one. <laughs> but this one. I'd say this one probably my uh, probably my third favourite Resident Evil game. The only reason why I don't like it as highly is and say number one as everyone else. Because I find it a little, a little bit too easy. This key is useless now, discard. Hell yeah! Yeah, hey guys. Let's get a triple. Nope, I failed miserably. Oh, wait, I just. Oh, yes, a triple! <laughs> Suck it! Hmm? Is that all of them? Yes. Excellent. I think it might have been a quad. Matilda's uh, butt stock is. That's the, that's the first one I want to open when I get that damn key. Uh, I hope this isn't different. quite a few things but still really still really good yeah, still a very good game I just wish actually you know when you see it right cheap when you're younger and you think mm, well I've got it for PlayStation I won't bother won't bother getting it for the N64 as well because it's just a waste, even though it's only like a fiver. As in, you look at it now and it's like worth 300 times more than that. Um, I'm going to use the crank first, I think. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. Yeah, I'm on the second floor, then it goes up to third. Yeah, sorry, just thinking aloud. Use the crank. That way it gets up a. It frees up a space, isn't it? In then. Even though I can't do the other part just yet, it just gets it out of the way. It's all about inventory management. Something Resident Evil's forgotten all about. You know, it's actually quite sad. Although it started a survival horror, it's actually turning more action based now. But even if they did go back to um, its roots fully, I don't think there'd be many people other than the, said the originals that'd actually still play it, if you know what I mean. Because I mean, you'll have your die-hard fans that will always complain about how how bad the newer games are. I mean, don't get me wrong, 6 is pretty, pretty appalling. I mean, I still enjoyed playing 6, don't get me wrong. But as a Resident Evil standpoint for the franchise, I think it was a hell of poop. It felt more like a cod in third person, if you, if, you, if you get me. I don't think there is an actual... I don't know, actually. A, a Resident Evil that I absolutely hate playing. I don't think there is such a thing. I like all Resident Evil games. I've never... I've only played a, I mean a smidgen of the first Gun Survivor game. Oh shit. Hello, sir. Yeah, I've only played a smidgen of the first Gun Survivor game. I was playing it in queue, waiting for a console on my mate's phone. 
bloody my mate now. Yeah, I played it a brief bit in his phone. Oh shit, wrong way. I didn't even need to kill him. What the fuck am I doing? Where the fuck did you just clip into? You, sir, you go down. There is any a such thing as a bad Resident Evil game. Even six isn't necessarily bad. I know it's actually is pretty appalling, but run. Yeah, I know Resident Evil um, six is pretty much the black sheep of the family. It went too, went too um, action packed, put a lot of people off, but I mean, like I say, it was still fun, because I mean, look at four. Four were pretty much action based, wasn't it? With slight horror elements. They said it was a, a horror game, Resident Evil 4, but generally, when did you ever get scared in Resident Evil 4? And then you see what I mean. Oh, key, that's one, I'll take you in a minute. Actually, I lied, there is one, um, there is one small part of Resident Evil 4 where it did make me jump. Oh, no, not check your spaz. It is, uh, right at the end, what it says, it's still class of spoilers if the game's over, looking like, ten year old. Um, it's like, right at the end of the game. There's like a, a zomb one of these zombie creatures in a in an oven, like a kiln, and it bursts out. That that got me when I was playing it. That's the only time I were ever like, oh shit, like that. And I just hurt my fucking wrist. Ow. Secret diary A. Here we go, lads and lasses. April 6. I accidentally moved one of the stone statues on the second floor when I leaned against it. Oh. When the chief found out about it, he was furious. I swear the guy nearly bit my head off, screaming at me never to touch the statue again. If it's so important, then maybe he shouldn't have put it out in the open like that. April 7th. I heard that all the art pieces in the chief's collection are rare. Literally worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. I don't know which is the bigger mystery, where he's finding those tacky things, or where he's getting the money to pay for them. May 10th. I wasn't surprised to see the chief come in today with yet another large picture frame in his hands. This time it was a really disturbing painting depicting a nude person being hanged. I was appalled by the ex expression on the chief's face as he leered at that painting. Why anyone would consider something like that to be a work of art is beyond my comprehension. Art is like jokes. It's very, um, What's the situation? What's the word now? I'll get rate. I'll get rate intelligent with that. Subjective. Yeah, that's it. Art's subjective. Art can be complete bollocks, and it be classed as art. But then sometimes you'll get something that's really. Oops, wrong way around. But then sometimes you get something really magnificent, and then it's not classed as art. So art is very subjective, like jokes. I mean, there's jokes out there that I will absolutely love, and I'll be hysterical over. I mean, being hysterics. Oh, hello, sir. But yeah, even jokes may be subjective, but that don't mean I like all jokes. I mean, jokes on the uh, national disasters. I do not get behind one bit. I don't like the whole like that. I mean, there's one that I did uh, laugh at, and I still kind of feel bad about it now. What, what it was? Some floods in this uh, third world country. But the way the buildings have um, aligned in the flood, it said LOL. And it says even nature has a, um, a sense of humour. I mean, I howled. Hello, Chris. Let me back to death. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, I, I laughed so damn hard. There we go. Yeah, I laughed so damn hard. 
crushed. Wham! Oh, fuck's sake. 